At the center of every magnet, there is no magnetism. If you go, we're able to go to the center of the Earth, the point or the center of gravity, if you will, and gravity does not exist. Gravity is not an autonomous field model. And of course, gravity exists, that which we call gravity. But gravity is absolutely no different than magnetic attraction, what is specifically dielectric voidance. The only difference is the attribution. And in the case of a magnet, it's coherent. In the case of gravity, it's incoherent. Well, let me show you something else, okay? This black spot right here is where the light has disappeared. It cannot penetrate this spot, nor can it exist here, because this is the point of centripetal convergence, where light is literally sucking down like a drain down a hole, okay? And the places where you do see bright lines, either on this side or the dimmer lines on the other side, that is where the centrifugal divergence, the true magnetism, exists. Where magnetism, literally, the loss of inertia, as defined by force and motion, is being blown out. Centrifugal divergence is where the white lines exist. The conjugate principle of the universe is magnetism and dielectricity, the reciprocating processional hyperboloid. The dark lines represent centripetal convergence. The white lines represent centrifugal divergence. So what you're seeing in the white lines is true magnetism. The light is actually hitting it and bending it along the lines of centrifugal divergence. The centripetal convergence, where light is literally going like, a, like water down a drain, is where you see these black voids in between the white lines. Okay? As you can see, these lines that are moving seemingly clockwise are closest to you. They're brighter. The darker lines is the other side of the magnet. Well, they seem to be moving counterclockwise. No, nope, they're moving in the exact same direction, only inverse to your spatial perspective. Space has no attributes. Space is nothing. Space is the air inside this donut. The cream filling inside the donut of magnetic divergence it is literally the farts, the after, the after effect, the remnant remains, the fecal matter of the loss of inertia, which necessitates magnetic divergence and reciprocation. As Faraday called magnetism, he called it the dielectric field. And oddly enough, one of the first experts in electrical engineering was the guy who got closest, even closer than Tesla, to understanding what magnetism was in its relationship to dielectricity, because only dielectricity exists. Only. Magnetism is the loss of that inertia. Electricity is a hybrid of dielectricity and magnetism. That which we call gravity does not exist. Gravity is nothing other than incoherent dielectric acceleration. What you call magnetic attraction and that which is gravity are the exact same damn thing, 100%, sure as shit, right as rain, irrefutable, undeniable, Magnetic attraction and gravity are one and the same thing. The only thing that distinguishes them is coherency. In a magnet, we have coherency. In gravity, we have total incoherency. Enough quantity affects quality. Enough quantity affects quality. There is only one field, and there are three field modalities. Electricity and magnetism, and that which we call gravity, they're all the same thing. There is no need for a grand unified field theory. They've always been unified. The only thing that's not unified is con human comprehension of the nature of these field modalities in relationship to one another. And they are all one and the same thing. To think of grand unified field theory is as stupid as a moron, a caveman, a troglodyte, trying to unify water, steam, and ice. Everything in the universe is electrical. But electrical is a field modality phenomenon. There is something that precedes the electrical. Because electricity of phi times psi equals Q and Planck of electrification. Phi and psi, dielectricity times magnetism equals Q and Planck of electrification. So electricity doesn't come first. I'm just saying that the universe this is electrical. This is irrefutable. This is real science. Not quantum, not Einstein's brain farts. True field theory, a la Tesla, Faraday, Steinmetz, Oliver Heaviside.
This is cosmic mechanics in reality, not the mental brain farts and leprechauns and unicorns of quantum mechanics and their bullcrap particles that have no existence in reality, are not the inputs and outputs of any experiment. Thank you and goodbye.